drain with Miller Industries. At Miller, we strive to provide you with the finest towing and recovery equipment, along with the right tools and equipment necessary to make your job easier and safer. Today, we're going to talk to you and show you the Miller Industries spreader bar. With the increase in the number of three-stage hydraulic booms and rotators, spreader bars have become a must-have for the towing industry. Although there are many on the market and some operators have even built their own, Miller engineers set out to design a spreader bar that specifically meets the needs of our industry for capacity and ease of use. Safety being the number one objective, the bars are manufactured and individually tested and serialized to meet ASME standards. The bar easily breaks down into five pieces with a total assembled weight of a mere 108 pounds, making it easy to assemble and store on your recovery unit. With an impressive lifting capacity of up to 20 tons, the main tubes are made of an extremely strong but lightweight alloy tubing and can mount in a number of locations on your unit depending on your needs. The wishbone end caps and cleavers store easily in one of your compartments. With two pins, your bar is now assembled and ready for rigging. Now we're going to go over the proper way to rig the bar and show the endless loop and shackle kits designed for use with the Miller spreader bar that are available from your Miller distributor. First, be sure to have the correct side of the cleaver to the top. It's the longer arm and should angle inward towards the center of the tube to form your top triangle. Attach a strap to each cleaver using a screw pin shackle with the round side towards the endless loop and the pin through the cleaver. Attach the two legs together using another screw pin shackle. Once again, round part of shackle to the endless loop and attach your hook to the top center shackle. Never hook your winch lines directly to the spreader bar. Depending on the load, choose the proper length endless loop to the cleaver once again using a screw pin shackle with the loop side to the endless loop. Use another screw pin shackle on the bottom leg. Actual attachment to the load will depend on the lift. Your spreader bar can be adjusted to 100, 105, or 110 inch lengths by easily moving the bolt on the cleaver and changing to a different hole on the wishbone. For narrower loads such as generators, there is a short spreader bar tube that allows for 58, 63, or 68 inch lengths. And now you know.